There's some dinosaur drama this week with a new paper that's shaking up the world of paleontology, and it's all about this little fella. This is Nanotyrannus. Or is it? That question has been the subject of literally decades of arguments. Is this really its own medium-sized tyrannosaur species called Nanotyrannus? Or is it just a teenage T-Rex? Well, according to this paper, a new fossil might finally answer that question. I asked paleontologist Lawrence Whitmer to fill me in on some of the backstory to this somewhat heated debate, and he brought props. So this debate about tyrannosaurs really started with this specimen that I'm holding right now, which is a cast of a specimen uh, that was found in the 1940s in the famous Hell Creek formation, just like Tyrannosaurus rex, this big skull behind me. And so the question became, well, are these really a separate species, Nanotyrannus, or are they actually juveniles, youngsters of T-Rex? The kicker had been that we hadn't really any well-acknowledged specimens of baby T-Rex or young T-Rex, and so folks were saying, well, how about these? No one had ever found a Nanotyrannus fossil that was indisputably an adult either, so it made sense that they might just be the same thing. That they were juvenile T-Rex actually very quickly became the sort of the party line, the consensus view. But that consensus might be about to change. This new paper provides a detailed description of a previously unstudied Nanotyrannus fossil. They had limb bones that they could slice through and look at the cross sections and actually age it based on the rings within the bone. And what that showed was pretty, pretty exciting because what it showed was that that specimen was basically an adult. It wasn't quite done with growing, so it was a young adult, but it was actually pretty close to stopping growth. And so that animal um, basically would never grow up to be the size of Tyrannosaurus rex. Actually, the animal would grow up to be one-tenth the size of Tyrannosaurus rex. Lawrence was impressed by the work, but now everyone is going to want to see more studies of this new fossil. We scientists may sometimes argue, and sometimes it gets a little a little salty along the way, but that specimen is now, in a sense, out in the open, and other scientists can come study it, and we can evaluate the evidence, and that's how science uh, works. Over the years, there's been a lot of disagreements, but also a lot of work done on the assumption that Nanotyrannus is a juvenile T-Rex. That kind of changes everything. It changes how we view Tyrannosaurus rex. It changes how we view um, how Tyrannosaurs as a group evolved. So much science was done on that premise, the consensus view, that really we're gonna have to reevaluate a lot of studies. 